Thank you so much to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. SeatGeek is an app that makes buying tickets easier. If you wanna save $20, just enter code MADDEN20 and use the link below. Let's get into the video. What's up guys, Coach Madden, official trainer, YouGoProBaseball.com, and today I've got four different types of abs that you can use to get, be better at baseball. Now, abs are very important. The core is very important in baseball because the core is what influences the rest of your body. If you have a weak core, you're not gonna be able to throw fast, you're not gonna be able to hit with power. Uh, the core is so important in everything we do, especially in baseball. Now, in baseball, like I said, there's four different types of core exercise, ab exercises that I like to teach my players about. The first is gonna be regular, which is like a crunch. Second is gonna be like a rotational. Uh, third is gonna be stability. And fourth is gonna be what I call like a rollout or an extension. Um, and I'm gonna show you one exercise for each of these four types of abs. So where when you do your ab work in the gym, you can hit these four parts and be a better baseball player because of it. So the first one we're gonna do is just gonna be a regular crunch. The way I like to do these is uh, I'm never gonna go any lower than this. I'm gonna keep my shoulders off of the ground. What I like to do is put my hands into a fist, and again, this is as low as I'm gonna go, and as high as I'm gonna go is my fist going to the top of my knees. So it's gonna be like this. Not a whole lot of range of motion, not a whole lot of movement, just right here, not going down too low, not coming up too high. You're really gonna feel that in the abs. So that's the first one. The second type is rotational. So what I like to do for a rotational, again, there's many different exercises that you can do for these. The first one, you can do regular sit-ups. Uh, any kind of crunching, bending at the waist is what I would consider the regular type of abs. This is a rotational, and this is just one exercise. You can use a wall ball. You can lift the feet up, sit back, and rotate with the ball, twisting. So really, any type of exercise where you're rotating at the midsection med ball throws when you're standing or sitting is gonna be another rotational one. That's what I would consider rotational ab exercises. Then we've got stability. One of the most common stability exercises is gonna be a plank for the abs. You guys all know this, where you get set up, keep your body in a straight line, and you're just stabilizing. That's why we call it stability. Holding, holding, holding as long as you can, a minute, minute and a half, whatever it is, to really work on those small muscles and help you stay stable. This is a great one for baseball because it helps with balance, and we need balance in baseball. It really helps all those little things, those little muscles, to keep everything tight and uh, in control when we're moving on the baseball field. Another one, uh, another example of stability would be V-sits, where you're just sitting there holding, okay? Stabilizing. The fourth one is gonna be extension or rollouts. One that I like to do, you could use those uh, rollout balls, uh, bars with the wheel on it, that's a great one. Or you can do what I like to do is caterpillars. You're just here, you're gonna walk out as far as you can until your arms get out front, stabilize for a second, and then walk it up with your feet. That's a great one because you're working on stretching as well as working on those abs as you get extended. Imagine yourself diving for a ball in the field and then having to pop up and make that throw. That's a great one for that. All right, so those are the four types of abs that you can do as a baseball player to get better at baseball. Um, again, there's many different exercises within those four types, uh, but just make sure you're getting it done. Set out a plan, execute upon that plan, make it happen. The more you do, the better you're gonna be. Obviously, if you're feeling tired and you're, you're killing yourself, give yourself a little bit of rest, but most of you guys um, aren't doing enough, I think. So kind of have that self-awareness of what you're doing compared to other guys, put in that hard work and make some things happen. If you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit my logo right here. The subscribe button's gonna come up. Go ahead and click that so you don't miss any upcoming videos that I got. Watch my newest video, and then leave me a comment below and let me know what you wanna see in any upcoming videos. Thanks guys, I'll talk to you down below.